we have a case where we want to inject a drug, and this drug is going to follow a linear one compartment pharmacokinetic model. We're given the rate constant, so it's a first order rate constant. We're given that the volume of the plasma in an adult is about five liters, and we want to determine what's a suitable dose to inject initially in order to maintain the concentration of drug in the plasma above 4 milligrams per liter for 12 hours. Essentially, what we're expecting to happen is that, and the assumption we're going to make is that the drug very quickly mixes in the blood, and then we're going to watch a first order and exponential decay. What the important information from the problem statement is at 12 hours, we want the concentration of the drug to be at least 4 milligrams per liter. At zero hours, at the start, when we inject, we don't know the concentration. That's what we're trying to determine. Since this is first order, we know the concentration anytime is the initial concentration and then an exponential decay, where k is our rate constant. So 4 milligrams per liter, or known as the initial concentration, 0 0.17 hours to minus 1, and then 12 hours. So if I now solve this for the initial concentration, 30.8 milligrams per liter, the problem asks us how much we have to inject, how many milligrams. And we have the volume is 5 liters, so the mass that we inject, the initial, is, is volume times the initial concentration. So 5 liters multiply by 30.8 milligrams per liter, so the mass to inject is 100 and 54 milligrams, so 150 milligrams. Significant figures. We, we indicate the volume is only approximately 5 liters. And so in this problem, we start out with a high concentration, 30.8, decays over to 12 hours, so that 12 hours is at 4 milligrams per liter.